I am too excited not to stream, so I'm going to be playing some... We're going to be deck building with Karaidon. Seeing all the different new cards in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, set release. Really, really excited about this. Already played a little bit. Had like an Urshifu Rapid Strike build that was really cool and awesome. Uh, but I'm just seeing so much uh, freaking whatchamacallit. Um... What you might call it? So many psychic decks that I just want to uh, build more with like a weakness to grass. I think um, this one seems kind of cool, so maybe we'll put one of those in here. And uh, I wanted to play. Um, I think we're gonna do maybe a little bit of Riolu, but maybe just starting off with some of these Klaus for simple pleasure. And what else was pretty good? The Zapdos seems like an interesting card. I mean, I like the... Whatchamacallit. Uh, I do like the Urshifus. Urshifu is really cool. So maybe we can try that. Why not, right? I still do like the Urshifu. Urshifu! We'll do one, two... Uh, one, two. Alright, okay. I like it, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. Probably don't need more than two Karaidons, right? Why not? I'm down to try it. Brand new standard. I'll do some vital VIP passes, why not, right? Ultra Ball. There we go. Let's see. How about these funky ones? One regular. Um, oops. What else should we put in there? Professor's research, yeah. I like the rapid strike idea. I think it's really interesting. So let's try it. Right? Say Tower of Waters, why not? Right? Let's try it out. What else should we put in there? Maybe a quick ball. Quick ball gone? Oh wow, quick ball's gone. <laughs> quick ball is gone. So, yeah, I think in the next, uh, I mean, I could do it right now. I just don't think it's like something that I want to do right now. I kind of want to just play. But in the next few days, I'm going to be doing like a set, set review. Um, maybe just going over all these different cards and exploring stuff. But right now, I just want to play and have some fun sounds like a good idea whatever pops to mind we're just gonna play with it and see how we feel about it and not give ourselves too hard of a time gusty picks up pickaxe was kind of interesting I don't know if that's the right direction or not but it's something right something interesting Greninja okay so I definitely think Greninja needs to go in here no, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Radiant Greninja, 125%. Okay. What else? Let me put some energy in. How many do you think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seems good. One, two, three, four. That seems good. That seems good. All right. Um, this ain't bad. What else ain't bad?
Just deck building. Judge, everybody's gonna be playing Judge. Mm. What else? Serena, cause Serena's dope. Serena's freaking dope. I do like me a trek and shoes. What else? What else? Mm. Should we put Ryolu in? Avenging Knuckle is very, very good. We have a couple more spaces. Mm. This guy's pretty interesting. Alright, I'm down to play with him. And just for fun, should we just throw one of these great tusks in? Mm. I wonder if there's more rapid strike stuff. Exactly, it's 20 damage for each rapid strike. Uh, beep. Your Rapid Strike Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon V and Pokemon GX. Camp okay. Rapid spin switch one of your opponents. Okay, well. Should we put one in? It's 30 extra damage. It's kind of a lot. Goes from one. Hmm. Do we still have telescopic sight available? <laughs> like, do we? Is that still in standard? Like, a bunch of stuff just went out. It's pretty interesting now. Um. No. Okay. Mmm. What else? I'm down to just put something in for fun, but it might be more interesting to play like a silly basic, right? And be like, what does this do? What does that do? How do you work? Decidueye ain't bad though. I was playing with that earlier. Definitely fits into our theme, so I'm down to do that. I'm definitely down to do that. I'm definitely down to do that. I thought it was good last time I was playing with it. I don't see the, uh... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's try this. See how you feel about it. Maybe one less of these, right? Whatever, let's try it out. See how we feel. <laughs> yeah. I love what just happened, Gun. So good. Pokemon is so good. It's so good, I can't handle it. They gave me awesome new sleeves, an awesome new coin. I got this fighting Dex box. I made a new outfit. It's a good time. So we'll see how many psychic uh, decks that we play against right now. I'm sure it'll be plenty. Plenty of psychic decks. Yeah, we'll go first. Why not, right? Why not? Okay. Hmm. Well, I still like having this out here. Here. 
I just like it because it has free retreat, you know? I think that's so good. I don't care about the energy so much as much as I like like having that free retreat. But maybe slamming down two energy would have been best, right? We'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's try this. That's dope. Damn, son. The dick is strong. This dick is strong, son. Um, I guess we have to get this right. I like the rapid strike build. I think the rapid strike build is super fast and efficient where you're just like two rapid strike Pokemon, put two energy on them, pass the turn, I can switch out with either one, I can do stuff, it's really amazing, flexible. With the Galarian Zapdos with the free retreat makes it super efficient and nice. So I like this deck, I think it's pretty interesting. Just the simple build that I made. But maybe putting more... I mean, the psychic stuff is absurdly powerful, so we just gotta make make sure that we're playing enough grasses. Show that she here. We'll go bloop. Bloop. So, to, uh, so I have to blast in the face for 150. Okay. If he Raihans right now, is that possible? I guess it's possible, right? He just doesn't have the energy in his discard pile. He had the ride on his hand. <laughs> oh, I called that. Damn, son. All right, yeah. So the rapid strike is pretty fun. We must also all be gracious in defeat. Yeah, I won. I don't know if that uh that lines up with the the way that I'm cheering for myself at the end of it. We all must be gracious. <laughs> yeah, it just feels so good. I can't stop. All right, so maybe putting more emphasis on our Rapid strike Pokemon, maybe taking this out. It does have weakness to grass, which is nice. So we can take one of these out for sure. Maybe take this out because it's just not, I don't think it's that. 
Like, I don't know if it's gonna get us there. We'll keep one in for now. Why not, right? Why not? It's the very beginning. Uh, let's take out one Serena. And... Gusty Pickaxe is fine. That's all okay. We got two slots. Let's do bloop and bloop. Oh, this one. There we go. All right, let's try that. Make little changes at a time. And see how we feel about it. Because I do think that rapid strike and uh, Karaidon first turn is pretty pretty strong move. I think we are going to get in positions where we don't want to be playing the Rapid Strike so much because of the weakness to Psychic. But, you know, that's why we're going to have cards in the deck that have weakness to Grass. Balance it out a little bit. I hope that all of you are enjoying Scarlet and Violet so far. I hope that, you know, you, you're having fun with the new cards. I know that I definitely am. Uh, very excited for this new standard to begin. <sighs> the rotation, like all the Drizzile stuff, I thought it was just absurd. Here's another Psychic deck, so obviously we want to be playing cards that have weakness to grass, just to give us that tiny bit of, an, of a chance at fighting a little bit better. Um, but yeah, let's see. I guess we could have smashed in pretty hard, right? We'll take this, though. So. That's good. <laughs> like, this is all good. All a bunch of good stuff. Alright, so let's play into... What should we play into? Um... Maybe single prize Pokemon. Right? I don't think I want to be throwing out too much heavyweight stuff. Um, We'll just move our stuff back here. And... Dino Cry. And we'll start to fight with Cloth, because... Why not, right? The... Tower of Waters might be good, though. I mean, Tower of Waters is obviously good. But, going into, uh... G Max rapid flow and going boom boom. That could be good. So 90 plus 30 for each energy attached to it, so. Oh, you would need a good little chunk. Seven or something. Six or seven.
Okay. I still do like playing this. Oof. What's it gonna be? Yikes. Maybe he doesn't realize it has weakness to grasp. That would be nice, right? That'd be pretty dope if he thought it didn't have weakness to grasp. Thought I had weakness to psychic. <laughs> Let's see what he does, right? Let's see what he does. Psy Purge. For 180? 270. Alright. Alright.
I mean, he's got it, right? <laughs> he just needs to discard too, right? I think that's it. Oh, concede, I ain't got the game, dude. Okay, I'm not disappointed, don't worry. Don't you worry. Alright, so a lot of psychic stuff. Um, I mean, the best way to combat that is with some sort of grass type weakness. Um, I guess we just didn't play as tight as we could have that game, but we'll try it again, see what happens. It's literally just psychic after psychic. What psychic deck are you playing? He's like, I'm gonna play dash one. Lucky. He's gonna blow his. Yep, he's gonna blow his seal stone right now. Oh god! Fucking that felt so good. I'm gonna go get a supporter that I can't play. Just get in both orders. I mean, battle VIP path. That makes sense. Nest ball. Close enough. Boom, baby. Come right on. Bam. Maridon? Damn, Maridon works good with itself. Damn, Maradon works good with itself. <laughs> yep, that's good. That seems good. With one nest ball, he got five... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> with one nest ball, he got five Pokemon. Okay? I just want to make that 100% clear. With one nest ball, he got five of them. Five... Sexy, sexy Pokemon. Sure. Okay.
So what's the reason I put two energy on to Coridon and the energy on to Urshifu instead of putting... Hello, Garchomp. What's up, buddy? Um, well, I guess I did it for that reason of, you know, maybe him taking one out and me having energy to spare. Um, but that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Now I did it split because I'm a real Garchomp. You're a real Garchomp? Mm, I'm starting to think this is someone I know for some reason. I'm starting to think this is maybe a, a familiar face. 220 during your next time, so I can't attack. Well, probably worth jumping out there and knocking this stupid thing out, right? I think this is um, a real Garchomp I'm talking to right now online, which is pretty interesting. But I have a feeling it's um, Ampharos Lightning, maybe. That's who I feel like I'm talking to right now. Mr. Garchomp reminds me of Ampharos Lightning I once knew. It was a good, good. Ampharos. He was a good Ampharos, but now maybe he evolved into a Garchomp. I could be wrong though. Beach Court. Alright, blasts me with Photon Blaster. I get to use this, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna get to use Decidueye, which is dope. Decidueye is super strong. Let's see what's going on on the top. Nah. Discard two. Okay. I like the Urshifu. I think that Urshifu is good. I wish this wasn't all weak to Psychic though. It really is hard to fight against those Psychic decks. So I think we need to find something that works against that really well. Mm. Psychics have weak to darkness. Um...
Greninja is pretty dope in this deck. Works really well. We all are like, yeah, new cards. We, we must learn to be gracious in defeat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's what it is, right? Mm, I want to look at something. Hoopa. Is a psychic and dark type. Okay. As long as this Pokemon is played, it's a psychic and dark. Okay. Hmm. What do you do? Pretty good. Until this Pokemon leaves play, it gains uh, an ability that has the effect. Your opponent, Pokemon V in play, except any Pokemon V star. Aerodactyl V star, have no abilities. Okay. Um, well, let's check out if there's any other basics that we like to see in there. Or any other. Um, you may use this ability only if you have no support cards in your hand. And your discard pile. Once during your turn, you may attach a fighting energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. It's pretty fun. Hmm. Should we try again? Looking for something with the weakness of grayish. Something good with the weakness of grayish. You, you're good, and you got weakness to grayish. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. What else should we take out? And you got weakness to grass, and you're pretty strong too. Hmm. Is Orang Guru still in? Is Orang Guru still in the deck? Once during your turn, this Pokemon is axed while you may search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards. Okay. So the old Orang Guru is no longer in standard, which is fun. See, there's so much shake up, man. There's so much shake up, you know? When you, when you gotta find the cards that you thought were in there, they're no longer in there. This one has weakness to lightning. Whoa. Draw two, flip two coins. This deck does 20 more damage for each heads. Okay. Well, it has weakness to lightning, which is pretty cool. 220. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. That sounds pretty sick. That sounds pretty sick, right? It's a stage two, stage one. Mm. 180 sand breath. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. Same, same. Okay. I mean, that's pretty fun. 220 damage. 
for four. That's pretty fun. What do you do? Axe Break 120. This attack also does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon V. That's cool. And it's only two. Rampaging Star 30 times. This attack does 30 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Okay. So maybe not what we're looking for exactly, but yeah, it does fit into the deck. So should we try it out? I'm down to try it. Should we get a shiny one? How much is it? 16? How much is a regular? 1,000? We got plenty, but... What does this do? Discard an energy from your... From this Pokemon. If you do, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's dope. That might be something to look at, certainly. Alright. It's only 2. 120 of the stack of 60 damage to one of your opponent's... Bench Pokemon V. Um... Small, small attack, right? But it could be the thing, right? Of being like, oh, you're playing a psychic deck? I have to play against you like this. Deck does 30 more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So if we had one, two, three, four, that'd be 120. Okay, keep moving. Mm hmm. Move an energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon anyway. Like, I like that. Claws. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is Pokemon V, this Pokemon does 120 more damage, son. This act does 70 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Iken Rock might be interesting. Right? Knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon that has 60 HP or less remaining. Then this is 190, also does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I'd be down to try that. That seems pretty good. Um, so, instead of this, because that's a very like tough card to play around. And instead of this, because I think this might be just a little too weak. Let's try this. And we probably don't need three of these, so we'll go down to two. Pop one of those in there. And I'm going to say I don't need two Galarian Zapdoses, or how about I just knock one of these out? Sure. I'm just like looking for things other than... What does this do? If this Pokemon would be knocked out by damage from an attack, flip a coin if heads, this Pokemon is not knocked out. And its remaining HP is, a, is 10. Okay. The deck does 50 damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. The deck does 70 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Then Dyna, Dynamite Punch, 170. This Pokemon also does 50 damage to itself. Hmm. Strong. He's on attack. That's cool. Acupuncture. Mmm, what else got weakness to grasses? This does. What else? This does. This does. Grab the top card of your opponent's of your deck, and this one's 180. Okay, Ryo Lucario is strong, it really is. So, we should definitely try out a Lucario build for sure. This deck is 80 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, 180. This deck does 10 damage to itself for each damage counter on it during your opponent's next turn. Okay, oh, uh, Shanaconda is pretty strong. Takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's pretty interesting. Stack does also does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's fun. G Max Cyclone, 180 damage. Move any amount of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon anyway. Like I like that clause. I think that's a pretty interesting clause. Is it better than this? How about we try all of them, right? 
<laughs> Why not? I think I'm going to take this out. It's too slow. Too slow. And let's take out this. Okay, so Lycanroc or Sanaconda. I think Sanaconda is actually stronger. So let's do Sanaconda. Instead of Lycanroc. One, two, one, two. And this is definitely something that I want to be testing with too. I think this is very, very strong. But I'm having a little trouble getting there right this second. Like with the whole synergy stuff. So we're going to have to come back to that. I'm going to add one more of these. And we'll try this out. Let's try it out. Koridon! But now we have Sanaconda. So Sanaconda is going to be pretty good because we can get up to a VMAX. Fighting against Psychic types, as long as it's not weak to a Psychic type, it should be pretty good. Takes 30 less damage as a Pokemon V. It's got a 330 something HP as a Pokemon V Max. Um, so we'll see how this works with that in mind. <laughs> Standard change. <laughs> Oh man, I get very connected to the decks I play, so I end up playing them for a long time. And I've played my Rayquaza deck so long that I don't want to play it right now. That's, I think, how much I've played it. Uh, but I got regionals in... I gotta take a flight in a couple hours, so I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I gotta take a flight. I gotta leave my house in like four and a half hours, probably. It's not a lot of time. Probably start, uh, you know, getting ready pretty soon. So there's a nice Shanaconda. You put that here. Play this. Mm. Am I going second? I'm going first. So maybe this, and this. I'm gonna do this. Or choice belt. I like taking. I'll do a. I'll get rid of choice belt. You know what? Let's get rid of experience here. Because then we can really do some serious drawing next turn. Good job, Pokemon. You did so good, man. It's such a great, awesome game you've created and kept alive and done such a good job nurturing it. <laughs> feels so good. Oh, it feels so good to have like a beautiful game to play. It's such a nice feeling. All right. Anaconda VMAX, baby! I guess I messed that up a little bit, right? It doesn't matter. We'll put this here. Wait. 180 is only gonna be... Okay, we'll put it here. Mm. 
So I gotta remember that when I evolve, I can't use Coridon to put energy on these things. It's only for basics, but that doesn't mean I can't play evolutions in my deck, I just can't put... Can't really put them on there before I, <laughs> before I use them, right? Oh man, so much fun. I'm loving it right now. <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, all by 
found myself streaming. Uh, I love it. Such a good time. Streaming to zero people. Always fun. <laughs> no, I don't care if I'm streaming to anyone. This is just to check the box off, right? Can't do anything else besides say, I checked that box. I did the good thing. My opponent played really that game, so that's unfortunate for him. Too bad for that guy. Damn, I wish I could stop. I wish I didn't. Alright. We're up to an hour of streaming. I don't want to stop, but... Maybe I should... All right, bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. Well, the deck's working. You know, the deck is definitely working. Crydon ain't no joke. It is a little clunky. I don't think I'm going to be playing four copies of it. That's for sure. We must all be gracious in defeat. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's an hour. Beautiful hour of streaming. Won't do 